205 out of Chandler, Arizona. Here's Justin Quinn. 16. Mm. All right. Figure out what's working for him. Bounce back. It's coming in today. And to short, diving off the glove of Anthony Silva. Looked like he just lost his footing. And instead of a real dive, almost fell into it off his glove. And that is a single for Quinn. On the ground, here's Silva. Flip to second. Richardson to first. Fastball's 88 to 92. I tell you what, it's a two-seam and a four-seam fastball. So he'll pitch down. He elevates when he needs to. Take a look at the TCU Horn Frogs batting order. Nunez has been outstanding at the top. And then you get into Bowen, Braden Taylor. Shallow right, that's going to drop in front of Matt Hogan. For Jack Hagan, yeah. Runner goes here, Fontenel swings and misses, and that will be a punch out for Hall. 30 regionals, two supers, two times. 78 in here to the Men's College World Series. 3-2, and that is laced right back up the middle. That's a really good sign for Oral Roberts as Holden Breeze delivers. A single right back up the middle on a 3-2 pitch, so he's aboard with two down. Hit it right back up the middle. Hold and breathe. Than it has ever been. Single and a walk, so a little two-out rally, perhaps. Right field. Austin Davis is under it, and there is no two-out magic. Let's watch this 3-2 pitch to Richardson for a second. All right, so that's ball four. They look for certain types of people as Richardson goes. Oh. Here's your throw, and out at second no. base. No, let's go, baby. <laughs> let's go. They may want to that's take a awesome. look at it, Jose. The review, the review is in play here, too. No, no replay. No, no, no. No, re no replay allowed. <laughs> but, What's but, called you know, is called. But, He's but out. Jose, Jose, break this down to us. You'll see the replay. Break it down for us right here. Good jump at first base. Oh, even good throw, man. Uh, that's just a baseball base. play right there. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, he's out, right? Yeah, the replay, I think, I think is going to confirm that he's out. The call of out at second base is confirmed. Uh, that's how I ended up there. Right. That's how I got recommended this place. And um, I you turn it over to the top, and that one's in the hole. Tough play coming up. Long throw, scoop, no. It gets by. Great job backing up Carson Bowen. Because the speed of brothers was going to be a factor, and it was. Okay, this is not knowing the speed of the runner when you're fielding this ball. You want to do this backhand. Jake goes no, and he goes 35 times. 35 times, double play, turn. Boy, have they benefited. Second double play. Turned by the TCU defense after the error of Klecker. Yeah, and it began with Klecker, too. First, an outstanding pitch, but watch how he receives this ball. Be authentic around your teammates. This ball rifled towards the gap. The dive, no good. Austin Davis, and we'll see if his left wrist is okay. An awkward landing for Davis in right. Give Quinn a double. And with two outs, he's in scoring position. Now, Austin didn't get a good jump on it. Looks like he didn't get a good read. Ahead 0-2. Yeah, he's gone. Wow, what an awkward swing from Jonah Cox. Oh, four. Yeah, he missed it. And that is a threat on the bases. Not going. And this ball to center field. And that is Death Valley out there. Cox underneath it. Don't have enough arms, in my opinion, to get all the way through. Yeah. But, but it's good to understand who you are. Six of the last seven have been fouled off, and this is up the middle. Smothered. What a play. It got him. Anthony Silva went down to the ground, popped up, and was able to throw out Mac McCroskey. That's a web gem right there. You talk about a level of difficulty here from Anthony Silva. Differently than what you have all year long, because this is the playoffs. Mm, there's a tough hop, and it gets by Braden Taylor. Breeze will hit first, go to second, and he is in there with a two-out double. Second double of the game for Oral Roberts. Talk about having a top spin on this ball. It's exactly what happened. At the end of the bat, but maybe when he came off the bat, he didn't think so. Here comes Fontenelle. Got it. And that first oh, one. What a play. play is right. Jake McMurray. Wow. Hasn't made an error all year, and he joins the Web Gym collection early in Omaha. Well, it's really interesting. Mixing pitches and moving it around, and uh, let's see if that one goes out. Probably it not. He's smashed by Fontenelle at the wall. I guess so. It does. Cole Fontenelle leaves the yard. 
his 14th of the year and the biggest one he's hit yet. One nothing Frogs at the World Series. Sorry, you can cheer. Hey, that's pretty fun. <laughs> nice job, Cole. Way to go. He'll never get off the headset now. You know, this guy's crafty. You got to be disciplined. You know, when you're not disciplined, he will chew you up. Catcher to start the season, and this ball is hit pretty well to left center, but this ballpark will hold it. And that's starting to throw you some change-ups as well, so he's mixing very well. Yep, and here's a ground ball, Silva. 3-2 to Silva. On the ground, charging it, a little short hopping it, and making the play, holding Breeze. He attacked it once it hit that dirt, Eddie, but it hit the ground quick. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do. If he lays, if he stays back on it, there's no way he's going to be able to make the play. For people that don't know who's here and why they would save that, is this one is ripped, and that's going to go into the corner in right field. Making that turn at first and heading to second, and he is in there with a double. Luke Boyers. Boyers thought too right at the moment of, of contact. Right mm. Great pitch on the corner and a punch out. 171 first time around. This ball to left. Boyers going back looking. It's off the wall and it gets away from him. Quinn is going to put the brakes on at second. Justin Quinn is three for three with a single and two doubles. This kid is putting on a show. Cox has that 47 game hit streak and he is 0 for 3 today. Second strikeout. It's a rough day for Cox. He grounded into a double play and now two strikeouts. Yeah, big time rough. Batted in and a big one sitting out there at second base. Gets away from the catcher. This one's popped up on the infield. Silva right there, no tag. McCroskey right field, fairly deep. Davis going back, going back. A huge home run for Mac McCroskey. His 14th of the year. Abel couldn't get through it. It's 2-1 Golden Eagles. And that will do it against Indiana State. Fair ball. And Bowen will round and he will get into second with a double. Just down the line, and Andy Cooper, our third base umpire, said fair ball. There is a slider, hit it hard, run right on the ground. Brothers up with it at second base. That one is seeing eyes, and it gets into the outfield, and Fontenelle delivers his second big hit, and RBI ties it. Bowen hits home. It's 2-2. How about Fontenelle? Seven now straight games that he has got multiple hits in. And they got it picked off. He was drifting and drifting, and did he avoid the tag? Safe. <laughs> McMurray says, well, you got to go to the replay. Somehow, Fontenelle, at least according to the first base umpire, Angel Campos, avoided a tag. Yeah, I got to see this one now. The call at first base will be overturned to Al. Let it run for a while. Let a little bit of the iron get out of there until the it cools out. off a little bit, the yeah. rust, and you just drink it. Chopper to second, high hop, wow. Richardson had to go up and make that play. Some elevation from Trey Richardson. On the ground a third, tough play. Underneath the glove of Holden Breeze, leadoff man aboard for the Horn Frogs. This is where the infield gets a little more difficult because it starts drying out with the heat. Just drops one into right at the line. Hustling over him and play it first. But they do, what a throw! Matt Hogan went over to the line. Whitener from the left side, Dinton right from the right side. Great pitch, change up inside corner. Savage works okay. quick, and that's it. He wasn't waiting for anybody. Over the head of the second baseman, Blaze Brothers. And it affects that right there. Nunez at second with good speed. First pitch gets away. And they both move up into scoring position and a big turn from Nunez. They'll walk Taylor to load him up. From the scoring position, playing in. Two strikes, the pitch reaches out to third. Foul ball. And he walks in the go-ahead run. Cole Fontenelle with a big at bat. 
Trey Richardson. Oh, no, he go. Oh. Way inside. Oh, and he hit him. Denton's control has been off. Another one will come in. Richardson gets plunked. It's 4-2 TCU. His arm side. Left field. Quinn went back. Now comes in. He will be in safely. Braden Taylor and going down to third base is Fontenelle. Anthony Silva. Slow roll at a short with a charity hop. And the low throw. Well, we haven't because of the 47-game history. That's always way off the line, and McCroskey is going to go down to second, and he will stay there. Good job by Trey Richardson to come in and just make sure Fontenelle. Bracket 2, Tennessee was the best team of the country last year. They didn't even get here, and boy, would they like to seek revenge. And this one is into shallow center field, and they will do that. Only four teams in the past 41 Men's College World Series lose game one and then go on to win the title. Then they bounced and won the next two. Here's one into the gap in left center field, and it's going to get down. That allows McCroskey to come in. First and second, nobody out. 5-3 as Stahl delivers. Pretty at bats. That's what they've done. They're not trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark right now. Ball, ball, ball! Fontenelle. Big pitch from Savage here. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout. Godman is gone. Well, that was just kind of about my best against yours right there. And Savage just grabs a four-seam fastball and rides it right to the top of the zone. You talk about a huge punch out. And this one is hammered to left field. Did he do it? Yes, sir! Walk-off home run. The nine-hitter Blaze Brothers. And Oral Roberts rallies and wins it. TCU, I should say, in a walk-off. Top half, that's right, not bottom. 3-1 shot, though, puts him on top after it felt like they were down and out. 6-5. That super regional experience. This one is smoked. Not deep enough. Jonah Cox back up at the plate. Yeah, that's, there is a chance, and let's see. Bare hand. Safe. 47 straight games with a hit. Only Whittles is ahead of him and Robin Ventura, whose streak ended right here in Omaha. 0 oh, and 2 to Cox. And a uh, one hopper, and that will end the hit streak. Got him. 95 with some sink. And a little grunt to go with it, huh? That one's going to get down in left field, and Austin Davis does his job. Wide turn. Runners to get in the scoring position. Whoa. Not going. Huh. Very small lead. He is going, and it's fouled off. And the 3 2 fouled off. He is going, and another one. Not going here. Four straight foul balls. He is going. Oh, no! Ball four. They'll check third. There was no swing. Ball four. Walks three today. Here it comes. <laughs> Runners don't go. On the way. Ball. Chased it. He got him. And boy, a slider that would have hit a left-handed hitter. He got Bowen to chase. But you have to do that. And that was finally the good one, right? Oh. To Taylor. And this one is into left field. Will it stay up? Yes, it will. What a comeback. Oral Roberts hangs on and wins. They will strand two. Denton gets it done. And they are dancing and flipping here.